There are many theories about what being a university student entails, but for me, it's all about juggling lectures, part-time jobs, and club activities. I ended up joining a movie appreciation club quite casually after attending a welcoming party. Once a week, someone would recommend a movie for us to watch. That was it. We didn't even discuss our thoughts on the films afterward. Honestly, I wasn't particularly interested in movies. The only reason I kept showing up to the club was because of Konomi Senpai. I had fallen for her at first sight. To me, watching her was far more enjoyable than any movie. Then our eyes met. She smiled and waved at me. So I waved back. That simple gesture was enough to keep me going for another week. Subaru! You were staring at Konami Senpai again, weren't you? Keep it down, will you? You don't need to get everything off of your chest. What? Why are you talking about my chest? No way, are you trying to imply something? I'm not interested in a chest as flat as mine. What did you just say? Don't get mad at me. Stop it, I'm ticklish! Give me a tissue, my nose is gonna start running. That'll be a million yen. I'll pay you back when I'm filthy rich. With interest. I mean, I could just run away without paying. How is it that I can talk to you without getting nervous? What's that supposed to mean? I just wish I could be this relaxed around Konami Senpai. Hey. What? I wanted a date with Konami Senpai recently. You what? We had tea and went shopping, even watched a movie together. Mm, you should have called me! Why would I call you? That day, as usual, I ended up spending the club time talking to Kanzaki. And before I knew it, the time had passed. It was raining heavily outside, a flash flood. But I had no food at home, so I had to walk to the convenience store in the rain. What a hassle, I thought, grabbing some instant noodles and rice balls before heading out. The rain showed no signs of stopping, getting even heavier. How am I gonna get home? Then, I saw someone running towards me in the rain, without an umbrella or even a bag. Subaru? Konomi Senpai? It was Konomi Senpai, the person I admired. What are you doing here? I got caught in the rain while I was out for a walk. A walk? Isn't your place quite far from here? Yeah, I've been walking for about two hours. Two hours? Night walks are my hobby. Achoo! Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. It's just a bit cold. That's not fine at all! What were you doing out at this time, Subaru? I went out to buy some midnight snacks. Oh no! Huh? You shouldn't eat at this time. You'll gain weight. Thanks for your concern. Well then, see you. See you? Wait. Don't you have an umbrella? Nope. You should buy one. I was out for a walk, so I didn't bring my wallet or phone. Oh, uh, then let me... Oh, no. After saying that, I just realized I only have 37 yen in my wallet, and I left my phone at home, too. I'm sorry. It looks like I didn't have any money with me, either. <laughs> That's okay. I appreciate the thought. Well, then, at least take this umbrella. If I take it, you'll get wet. That's fine. No, it's not fine. What if you catch a cold? It's better than letting you catch a cold. I can't let my junior catch a cold because of me. How about this? Please, come to my place. It's nearby. You can dry off and then take the umbrella with you. That way, neither of us gets wet. Now? To your place? Sounds good? Yes, please. Thank you. At that moment, I truly was concerned for her well-being without any vulgar motives. It only dawned on me that I had invited my crush to my place once we arrived. Here, use this towel. I wash it properly, so don't worry about that. Thanks. <laughs> What's wrong? I'm just a bit nervous. Nervous? It's my first time in a guy's room at this hour. <gasps> what? Why are you gasping like that? Uh, nothing. I see, you finally realize the situation we're in. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I really am thankful. Huh? So, you really were concerned about me, huh? Of course. I had no other intentions. 
I have more mixed feelings about that statement, but I'll take it. Anyways, this place is super clean. Of course it is! It's a good thing I cleaned up yesterday. Kanzaki had been nagging me to tidy up. In the end, I guess I owe it to her. I'll have to treat her to a juice or something as thanks. Senpai, are you hungry? Just a little. I have some ramen. It'll warm you up. But isn't that your midnight snack? I'll have a rice ball. Then I'll just have half. Just half? Any more than that would be over my calorie limit. But you're slim, senpai. Being slim for a guy includes being a bit chubby, you know. That's not true. You look great, senpai. Uh, oh, thank you. Eventually, we decided to share the cup noodles, passing it back and forth after each bite. This tastes good, doesn't it? It's actually my favorite flavor. Though to be honest, I was too nervous to really taste it, considering the nice atmosphere we had. <sighs> that was delicious. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. Could I get a tissue? My nose is starting to run now that I've warmed up. Sure, here you go. Thanks. Just toss it in the trash when you're done. Okay, let's see here. Huh? Konomi froze as she looked at the trash can, which was overflowing with tissues. She's a young adult, not a naive little girl, and had a basic understanding of that kind of thing. In other words, what a pile of tissues in a boy's room might imply, thanks to her mischievous brother. What's wrong? Well, about this trash can... Oh, it's full, isn't it? Yes, very full. Uh, sorry about that. Kanzaki used a bunch last time she was here. Kanzaki did? Really? Yeah, she kept dumping some at my face and stuff. It wasn't cool at all. D dumping It got super messy. Like, because of you? Yeah, I guess it got pretty heated because of me. Even when she told me to stop, I wouldn't listen. It was the most intense it's ever been. In the end, she was crying. What could you have possibly done? You made her cry? Yeah, she gets carried away easily. How hard do you guys go at it? Ah! Senpai, you're turning red. Are you okay? Please don't come any closer. I'm sorry to know you and Kanzaki were like that. Is that so? But I've poked her in front of you guys before. In front of us? When? During the last club meeting. I knew nothing of this. How could you kids do that? Unholy! I'm so done. My juniors are way too wild. Senpai ran off with her face flushed red. Wait, take an umbrella! I don't want it. It seemed the rain had stopped. So I guess it probably would have been unnecessary luggage. Why did she run off like that? She didn't think I was going to attack her, did she? I wouldn't do that. But Senpai is really different from Kanzaki. With Kanzaki, it's impossible to create a romantic atmosphere. She's more like a guy friend, really. She'd retaliate by spitting on my face if I made her laugh. Though I knew her weakness was being ticklish, so I did make her laugh a lot. In the end, she begged me to stop, trying to act cool in front of Senpai. But by then, my face was already covered in spit. Maybe it was a draw after all. Thinking back on these pointless exchanges with Kanzaki made me feel a bit down. For some reason, after that night, I couldn't talk to Konomi Senpai anymore. Oh, Senpai! Dash! Why did you run away? Dash! Every time she saw me, she just ran off. Hey, Subaru, what did you do to Senpai? I didn't do anything. Because of you, she runs away from me, too. Am I being avoided? Well, obviously, you know what ha And? What happened? I can't figure out what happened. There's no way you can't figure out what happened. No, really, I don't know. We just ran into each other at the convenience store one night. Uh-huh. Senpai was soaking wet, so I let her in to dry off. Oh, you let her into that messy room? I cleaned up! And? We just shared some cup noodles. Cup noodles, huh? Where's the romance? I'm not here to discuss that. Then all of a sudden, Senpai turned bright red and ran off. She must have felt threatened by you, huh? Me? 
even a wimp like you is still a guy after all. I guess. Yeah, maybe that's it. For now, I should probably keep her distance from Senpai. What? I'll suddenly ask her about it. Seriously? And stay away from me, too. If you're around, I can't even talk to Senpai. That's your real motive, isn't it? What if it is? It turns out Kanzaki loves Konomi Senpai, too. A few hours later... Subaru! What's wrong? Did you find out why she's avoiding me? She's avoiding me, too! What did you do? It's my fault! Whose else's fault would it be? I swear I didn't do anything! Think hard. You sometimes say weird stuff in conversations. I do not say we... <gasps> Thinking back on my conversations with Konomi-senpai, I didn't think I said anything particularly strange. But looking at it from another angle, maybe I did mess up. Oh no. What? Sorry, Kanzaki. This might actually be my fault. See? What did I tell you? I explained everything, but maybe Senpai thinks Kanzaki and I are dating. You're the worst, ever. Sorry. It seems like she hasn't told anyone else, but if we get banned from the club because of this, there's no chance for closure. You're completely right, ma'am. Whatever, let's go. Where? Wherever Senpai is, obviously we need to clear up this misunderstanding. Ugh, the thought of being with you is just disgusting. You don't have to be that harsh, although... I completely agree. And so, we set out to find Senpai and clear things up. Senpai, please listen to us! Dash! It's all a misunderstanding! Dash! She's so fast! Alright, let's chase her! Subaru, she went that way! Leave it to me! Dash! She just crossed me! You idiot! How do you let her get by so easily? What am I supposed to do about it? Dash! She ran away! Senpai, please! Just wait! Listen to what we have to say! Why do these two keep chasing me? Because you keep, keep running, running away. away! Why are these two juniors chasing me like their lives count on it? It's absolutely terrifying. It's not okay to do stuff in public, but I don't mind what you two do with your relationship, and I won't interfere. I'm just a little disappointed, that's all, because I thought Subaru might like me. We made eye contact often, that's all. It was just me getting carried away and misunderstanding, then feeling down about it. <sighs> Who would have thought Senpai would be so fast? Well, she said walking was her hobby. How would that make her fast? Who knows? Whatever, let's go. Or are you giving up? Of course not. That's what I thought. And so, we started chasing our senior again. We decided it was best to darken our approach. But even together, we couldn't catch Senpai in her super speed mode. So we ended up explaining the situation to another senior and asked him to mediate. This and that and... yeah. <laughs> it's not funny, you know. Konami isn't very familiar with these kinds of topics. Yeah, it's cute in its own way, like how she squints during intimate scenes. But still watches closely. Yeah, it's so adorable. Kanzaki, you're getting off track. Right. So, do you think you can help us, Senpai? I mean, it's easy to clear up the misunderstanding through a proper conversation. Great! Is that okay with you, though, Kanzaki? Me? Yeah, I think Senpai's avoiding you because she's shocked by the misunderstanding that you're involved in that way. Yeah. So clearing it up means clarifying that you're not like that. I don't get it. So, are you okay with having a strong rival to emerge? I hate the thought of that causing tension in the club. Senpai, you're misunderstanding too. We're just friends, really. Really? Yes. I mean, if you're okay with it, then there's nothing stopping you. I'll go ahead and tell Konomi. Thank you so much. And then a few days passed. On our weekly movie appreciation day, we finally got to meet Konomi Senpai again. It was after watching the movie with the club members as usual. S Subaru. Konomi Senpai, her face slightly flushed, approached me. Can I talk to you for a second? Of course. Come with us, Kanzaki. Why me? What? You're the one who started all this. Go fix it on your own. And so, 
with a push from my friend, I went to talk to her. Shall we go then? Yeah, um, well... Yes? I heard the story. Oh. I'm sorry for misunderstanding everything in a weird way. No, it's okay. I've been reflecting on how my words might have been misleading, too. That's true. I'm sorry. I'm so glad the misunderstanding has been cleared up. You don't need to be so relieved. Of course I'm relieved! These past few days have been tough for me! You're overreacting. Not at all! Well, why was it so tough? Well, uh... Am I misunderstanding something again? I'm sorry? Do I need to explain myself? Senpai looked at me intently, a hopeful glint in her eyes. No, I understand. Good, so am I imagining this in my head? No, you're right on that. What's that? Do I really need to say it all? Of course you do. You enjoy teasing me, don't you? I breathed in, then breathed out. Then I said it. I like you, Ponomi Senpai. Mm-hmm. And so, I don't want you to misunderstand that there's anything between me and other girls. Mm-hmm. Senpai? Yes? I like you. I heard you, very clearly. I like you too, Subaru. What? Why are you acting surprised? Wait, but what? I like you. The reason I ran away was that I was shocked from someone else getting to you first. Subaru, will you go out with me? There was only one answer to that question. Yes, of course. Yay! Well then, I have my first question for you as my boyfriend. What could that be? You're really, really not dating Kanzeki-chan, right? I mean, now that I'm your girlfriend, I can't help but be a little suspicious. No, we're not. She's just a close friend. You're still doubting? You two seem so close. It seems my girlfriend is quite the jealous type. I decided then and there, before she could run away again, to clear up any misunderstandings immediately.